Okay, so we're just down here in the snowy mountains in, this, in Australia. It's 20th of April, I think, today, 21, maybe 21st. So we're coming to the end of our season here, so we're heading, in, heading into winter soon. So we're just doing an inspection today to check on the, the hives. Uh, nice bee numbers here. So these have recently been uh, had a box removed. So we we took the this time of year we we leave the, the heaviest box with the bees, um, and that we find this is a nice heavy box <laughs> there. It's a nice heavy box. I'll show you some frames when I put that back on, but we like to leave plenty of stores on the hive because uh, when the winter when the winter moves in here, it's quite cold and uh, can be uh, detrimental if we're you know, forcing our, our bees to go out and forage. So the frame of brood is not overly impressive. So this one's, I would say, it's almost due for a requeen. It is due for a requeen. I'm just not so so happy with the brood pattern, but but it's got good quantity of brood, so it's going to overwinter really well. So it's two frames of brood, and here we have a little bit of brood, and and uh, they're putting fresh honey in here at the moment. So the bees actually are on a on a nectar flow. A couple of different trees flowering here, eucalyptus trees. One of them is Black Sally, uh, so it's flowering. Just do an inspection, disease inspection. While we're here, so the disease, the brood looks nice and white. So that's, so this one, actually I can see this one's had a split out of it. The guys uh, took, took some splits um, last week. And I can see these are new frames that they've put in there. So this one's actually one of the colonies that has been split. A little bit, a little bit um, on edge today. Um, so with this, the, the queen excluder, we just give it a smoke and try to make sure we don't squash any bees. Gently put it down. Let's get it nice and lined up. Let's clean that. And uh, put this box back on. It's quite heavy. Uh, that box is full. So fortunately for us here in Australia, a lot of our eucalyptus honey honeys uh, are really slow to crystallize. So what it means is we can leave the honey on the hive for long periods of time and uh, we don't have the risk of it going solid as you can see that it's a full frame of honey I'll just show you a bit of the color beautiful color i think that one's going to be a mm. very nice i think that's red stringy bark probably a few other things mixed in so we'll put this one back to bed A little bit grumpy but not too bad really you can see there's still I don't know if you can see there but there's still nice nice large loads of pollen coming in that pollen will be coming off either the black sally or, or the swamp gum I believe but there could also be other trees if you have a look if you pan around here